Share it out, share it out. What's up, everybody? What's up, Snorlord? Um, trying to remember my password here. Snorlord did the most epic live feed the other night. It was seriously metal. That's all I'm saying. What? Well, hmm. Pretty sure this is it. Okay, there we go. All right, five people. By the way, this is Heinz. If you do not have this, this is Heinz chili sauce. If you do not have this, in, I know it's backwards because of the camera, but if you do not have this in your life, you have a sad life. Okay? You have a sad life. And that's just the way it is. So get this in your life. Heinz chili sauce. Put it on everything. Okay, see it says great on burgers and fries. Well, that's a lie. It's great on everything. Okay? It's great on everything. So, we need some more people up here, so share it out. Share it out, and we'll do it, um, we'll do it uh, documentary style. There we go. Um, so, take a look at the chat. Show live. Hey, Juan. <laughs> Juan. That's a great name. What's up, Kevin? Let me get rid of this. Okay. So, let's talk about load boards, man. Um, I work off load boards. And, uh, you know, there's really no videos. I mean, there probably is more videos out about different load boards. I, I haven't really found any that, you know, show you the load boards, especially as uh, comprehensive as some of them are. Um, I mostly use the DAT board, so that's what we're going to look at. And the cool thing uh, about DAT is there's different levels, although those levels are more expensive, so... Uh, as you go up, um, I have the most expensive one there is. You sent me a Facebook message. I, you know what, man? I, I get them, and I, you know, I don't know. I'll look for it, bud. I'll look for it. I will. I, uh, I kind of, I had a drink. I had something to drink. Hold on here, guys. So... Alright, there we go. So, I'll look for it, man. I, You know what, I just, uh, the Facebook messaging thing, I, I, you know, I don't know. A lot of people send me messages, okay? So, um, let's just get right, in, get right into the DAT board here. Uh, like I said, I have the most expensive level, but what I do is I went in on it with a couple people, and we all share the cost. So that gives you the maximum amount of tools at your disposal uh, for the most value. So I split the cost um, with some others, and it's pretty great. So um, I'm going to switch this around and get into it right here. So um, I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, maybe I should just hold it up if you're having some issues. Uh, seeing what I'm doing, just, uh, you know, just come cost. I, um, I pay, uh, uh, $99 or a hundred bucks a month. Um, and I split it with a couple others. So we all pay that price. If you wanted to buy the, the biggest one, um, yourself, it would cost you $250. So because I split it with others, it cost me less. You see what I mean? But uh, this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, uh, 
it's pretty self-explanatory. Up here you've got, you can, if you're a broker, you can search for trucks in a particular market you're looking to cover. You can post your own truck, which I suggest you do. Um, what's up, Pell Rider? You should, thanks for watching. And then you can search for loads. So, um, let's, uh, we'll start out with searching for loads. And there's some tools over here too, and I'll show you those in a minute. But let's start out with searching for loads. Somebody uh, just give me a market that you want to, uh, give me the name of a city that you want to search for a load in. So, uh, nobody, I'm just going to pick one myself. Missouri, where in Missouri? Snorlord's from Springfield, so let's go to Springfield, Missouri. Um, so, you can pick... Um, you can pick what you got. If you got a van, uh, tanker, reefer, other equipment, container, Conestoga, flatbed, you can search specifically for hazardous materials. Um, but let's go reefer. Um, you can add to this. You can add van. So you got reefer and van, right? Um, you can do Springfield, Missouri. Springfield, Missouri, right there. Okay. And then, uh, no, why is it doing, why did it do that? I want Springfield, Missouri. Okay, and then if you can leave that blank, okay, uh, and it'll search for anywhere, or you can do a state, or you can do a zone. So let's say you want to go to the northeast. Uh, you can look up what the zones are, but I know for a fact that the northeast is zone one, okay? And we want to pick up today, and we want to, and we want to pick up within 150 miles. We want full loads. We're uh, 53 feet. And we don't want to pick up more than 44,000. Very important to put those. Um, uh, oh, there's there's a Nike video right there. I got the alert. So nobody watched that. You're watching me, all right? Um, so very important that you put those parameters in. You know, it'll ask you to. You can do full or partial or power only. Or actually both or whatever. So let's search. And you'll see all the stuff that comes up look at it all look at it all you can go to um, you can go to Bedford PA you can go to Erie you can go to Syracuse Joplin Missouri to Syracuse look at that 53 foot so I want to go home okay I want to go home to Syracuse New York and it's gonna give me the route right there it's gonna give me total miles you know it's even going to give me some directions. Um, it's very cute, yeah. Uh, so let's go back here. And let's just click on it again. So, okay. Uh, Alright, we're back. We back? Refresh it, we're back. Um... We're back. Refresh it. So, um, let's see here. <clears throat> what am I doing? Hold on. We'll get you going here in a minute, guys. It's getting warm back here. Uh, You got it now? Okay. So, um, so here you are on the load board, right? I'm sorry, I'm a little, um, a little disoriented here. We've, we've opened up this load from Joplin to Syracuse, okay? And, uh, so this is what it gives you. It gives you a spot rate, which is about what this trip is averaging per mile, and, and it's in between, you know, what it is 
Um, and you can review this broker um, right here. You can see it's paying $3,200. Oh, come on. What is this guy doing? Really? Steal my thunder. So. <sighs> Let's see here, it's getting a little warm. My AC what turned off. <laughs> um, so there it is, it's paying $3,200. It won't always show you the rate, but it will give you a suggested rate. Now you can call this guy up and say, hey, I need $3,500. You know, um, you can do that. And maybe you'll get it, maybe you won't. It's a game. But you can see it's 40,000 pounds. It's $3,200. Uh, you can factor this load through debt if you want. Um, but if you don't, days to pay is right there. Um, there's the number. You want to call them. So, uh, right there. That's pretty much it, man. It gives you... Uh, what the load uh, is kind of worth $2,893 that's the uh, in 15 days the 15 day average this load paid $2,893 okay and right now it's paying $3,200 it's late in the day this company wants you to pick up this load ASAP so the uh, the price is up there and uh, it'll get up there and up there and if nobody picks it up um, if nobody picks it up, then they'll just reschedule it and it'll start at the bottom again. It'll start at like $2,000, you know. But right now, um, if I was in Joplin, Missouri, and this guy needed this load picked up, I would call him up and say, hey, I'll do it for $3,500. Uh, you can see the broker's credit. Um, you can get the debt. Um, uh, well, is it? You can see his credit. I'm working on it here. You can go to, you can click on them. You can see Sergeant Trucking, their credit score is 97. Uh, that's over here too, 97. Um, I'm doing the best I can with holding the phone, guys. I apologize. Um, you can see that they've got a two-star or five-star review. Only two reviews um, have been on here. You can add them to a preferred list of brokers, um, or you can block them. So the great thing about uh, the reviews are right here, man. You can click right on them. Let's let's look at a review. So the review, let's break it down. This is how fast they paid somebody. This says the load was described as 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 you know, the load was as they described. This is the debt board, Ohio guy. Um. This is how, uh, did they load you on time or whatever, you know? Um, did they do okay with the freight? Did they, you know, ease of business? What's up, Ms. Pearl? Uh, and this is how many people are likely to work with them. So, um, I like to work with them as often as I can. Pretty good company. Um, same, same deal. Um, the interesting thing is with reviews like this is a lot of you remember and this happens on Google a lot a lot of people will, um, will a lot of brokers will go in and write their own reviews you know what I mean so um, you know and brokers can review you too um, don't forget that they can review you too like they can go on and review Traveloco and say we love Traveloco we work well with them so, um, so yeah, this load going to Syracuse is paying $3,200. I bet you if I was sitting in, at the Petro in Joplin right now, uh, buying tchotchkes and drinking my 64-ounce uh, soda, and I saw this, I could uh, go on and offer this guy $3,500 and probably, uh, probably pick that up. You know, another one going to uh, Syracuse right there. Same deal. We'll click on that one. Another one through Sargent. It's paying $3,200 you know, same deal. Um, Sergeant's MC number. You can look up their MC number too and get more reviews if you want. So um, the other thing is, uh, 
with the DAT board, is, um, you can uh, report bad brokers, and they take that shit very seriously. So if you got a bad broker, you were treated unfairly, you weren't paid on time, uh, whatever, um, you can, uh, there's a, a, a case, uh, you can file a case on a debt. Also, if you weren't, say a, a broker promised you detention and you didn't get it, you can file a case for that too because debt does not want to work with bad brokers. They don't want to work with them. They're very serious about it. Um, they want to know. Uh, it doesn't matter. Any little thing, excuse me, any little thing, they don't want to work with these people. So they, they'll weed them out. They don't, they have a reputation. So um, if you're being treated unfairly by any broker, I don't care if it's the biggest broker out there, TQL, I mean, uh, they want to know. They'll nip it in the bud, man. They don't want to deal with these people. So usually with brokers, you got to remember when you're dealing, say you're getting treated fairly by TQL, you're not being treated unfairly by TQL themselves. You're being treated unfairly by an agent. All these brokers, they work for themselves. They're just agents for, um, yeah, TQL has hundreds. But these brokers, they work for themselves they're just agents. Landstar has agents. Um, you know, um, everybody's an agent. Nobody works for a specific company. There, there may be a few. Remember, uh, I know everybody just joining in. Get yourself some Heinz chili sauce. It's amazing. Okay. Um, so, and then you can go here and if you want to select, save a load, you know, and then do a comparison. You can do that too, you know. Um, and you can sort them by age, uh, pick up what kind of truck. You can sort everything, man. Um, but uh, you might, that's true, uh, trucking with authority. You could miss a good, it could be a great load, but because they have a bad review, you know, you want your app not to take it. But, you know, you also got to remember that there's uh, drivers and companies out there that are just butt hurt because, you know, they didn't, um, they didn't cover their, uh, they didn't cover their ass when they made a deal. I have an accessor accessorial policy. I submit that um, with every load I book and that they agree to it, you know, so that I get what I want. So um, let's go to uh, posting a truck right up here. You want to post your truck every day and you want to post it often. So say you post it and then you don't really... Um, you don't hear anything maybe within an hour or so which is rarely the case you want to take it down and uh, post it again so and you do that post your truck in zones um, or set your deadhead out I usually just set the deadhead out because I know where I want to go and always put a destination don't ever just put anywhere always put a destination so um, like uh, tomorrow well, here, see, here's my, here's the one I just did earlier today. Um, and right now it's unposted, okay? I was in Rotterdam earlier today and I wanted to go to Harrisburg because I knew I could get, I could return to Syracuse from Harrisburg really strong. And so I, I unposted it because I got this load that my dispatch found this load that I'm on now that they just keep throwing money at. It's ridiculous. The more I wait, the more money they throw at me to come up here and get it. Um, so, um, and basically it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll delete it so I can just show you the process of, uh, of actually posting your truck. So, um, reach, yeah, reach for it. Um, so basically, uh, it, it was unposted, Jeffrey. I didn't mind deleting it. I can just put it back in there again. So you want to pick the date. It's the second. Um, let's say you're in, uh, you know, Syracuse. Okay. And, uh, you want to go to Georgia. Yeah, I'll send you some. Send you right to Meyer to get it. Say so you want to go to... It won't let you just put... You can just put Georgia in there if you want. Um, but you should really put a... 
And let's see. Let's go to Atlanta. God, God help us. We're going to Atlanta. Okay. You got a van. You want a full load? Remember, you got. It's not going to let you. Uh, it's not going to let you do anything unless you put in the weight and the length. Okay. There are great paint lanes. I do. Listen. Let me tell you something about the Northeast. I've. Um, I've just this whole week because I had to be close to home. I've just been going to New York and PA, and I've been cleaning up. All right. So, uh, in the ref, you don't have to put anything in the reference um, ID. I put my MC number in there or travel locals, and then I always put in the notes. Uh, my uh, my number's up there, but I always put my number in the mo notes. Yeah, I do. I'll, I'll select both. I forgot to do that. Um, but I I tend not uh, I tend to stay away from partials because if I'm just staying close by you know they don't really pay I had one guy call me for one pallet going to Texas he wanted the trailer exclusively if I, if I didn't have to go that way or if I didn't have to be home for anything I would have took that and I would have got him I would have charged him out the ass for it one pallet but always in the comments put uh, you know your name contact you know Dave or whatever I'm not gonna spell it all out I'm not gonna actually hit a poster or else we'll start getting calls you can you can get it to alarm you um, I will, Jeff. I will next week, man. I'm always going that way. I, I, I've kind of been shying away from going that way because I've been waiting for my elite pass. And, uh, um, yeah, don't focus on posted rates, man. you got to call these people. So you hit post, and um, really it'll just, um, it'll, you could, you know, it'll just, uh, I'm not going to go and post it because then my phone will start ringing off the hook. You know what I mean? So, um you know yeah I always ask for more I always do man I get them this load I'm on now they're pay, they're gonna pay me twenty five hundred dollars to go from here to Bethlehem Pennsylvania for four and a half hour trip they're gonna pay me twenty five hundred dollars man and that's just how it's gonna be because they they know anybody else is gonna come up here and sit and wait so guess what I'll wait for twenty five hundred dollars for four and a half hours and then I'll deadhead home because <laughs> I don't care so you can also see what kind of trucks are in your area okay so uh, you need a truck you know uh, say you need a van say you need a van or oops sorry not that one say you need a van uh, or a reefer say you're in Harrisburg Pennsylvania this is a good even though you're only your carrier and you're not a uh, um, you're not a broker this is a good tool um, to negotiate with we'll put zone one in the Northeast this is a good tool to negotiate with because um, you can see what kind of uh, how much equipment is in your area and you know if you're the only uh flatbed in the area you know what i mean and you know it you can use that to your advantage right so if you know um so here's all there here's a whole bunch of trucks okay and then it'll uh eight exact matches there are eight matches the similar stuff you don't have to um, you don't have to deal with but um, yeah they do use truck ra ratios so here's there's eight trucks um, and this is where they're going uh, these are uh, these guys want to stay in New Jersey um, that's my pre-pass uh, this guy wants to stay in New Jersey Pennsylvania Maryland New Jersey Northeast New Jersey, PA, uh, Mid-Atlantic. This guy's looking to go to Illinois, Kentucky. Um, this guy pretty much is looking to go anywhere, okay? And then these guys are, are local. These local ones, they're generally like containers. Um, so, uh, but these are eight trucks right here. And you can, uh, uh, this is a van. Uh, van, I forget what VA is. So, um, basically, you can see what type of equipment it is here. But if you're the only, like, see, 
right now, see, these are all vans, all right? And if I want a reefer load, um, if I got a reef, if, I, if if I want somebody with a reefer and I see there's only one R on here, I'm calling that guy, okay? But that guy, if that guy is me, I know that I'm the only reefer in the area right now. This is uh, Power Dat, uh, the the top of the line one. I, I mentioned earlier MXPX, great band by the way, uh, that I um, partnered up with somebody uh, on the load board and I share the cost. Um, Trucker's Edge is a waste of time. Uh, so I share the cost with uh, another driver. So uh, we save money by sharing sharing the cost, you know. So, um, so yeah, I can see that I'm the only reef. I would be the only reefer in this area if I posted. So I would I could use that to my advantage. So, um, but uh, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Let's go to the hot market map. This is a great tool too. Um, this is where it's hot, man. Um, hot market map for reefers right now. Uh, there's the loads to truck ratio. There's 165 trucks in the area. It's a pretty big area. Okay. And there are 1,387 loads. Okay. So that's 8.4. Uh, I forget what that means. Uh, load to truck ratio is 8.4. Um, that's pretty cool and you can click around here's the Syracuse market there are uh, 20 load loads to truck ratio there's 23 loads to a truck it's not it's not but I mean it's a good it's not trucking authority but it's a very good tool it, it's just to get an idea you know what I mean um, it's just to get, it's just to get an idea you know uh, uh, it's all they're just all tools you have to take them with a grain of salt the lighter colored areas aren't as strong you know you can see the Midwest is, is darker it's very strong especially in the old meat patch right here you know um, so uh, yeah you got everything I mean so uh, but like I said yeah it's just um, it's it's all and I just to get ideas. You have to do this all on your own. I mean, you can't take any of this as gospel. You know, um, you have to be um, aware. Uh, basically, I guess is the best way. Um, let's do the lane makers tool here. You just you have to be self-aware uh, of what's going on here. Um, lane makers is another cool tool. Um, you can see what lanes are the hottest. Um, Carlisle, Pennsylvania, very hot. It's the hottest one, right? <clears throat> Three stick debt with a window in the back. <laughs> you got to sign up for debt, Roger. You got to have an MC number, and you got to sign up for it. Um, but this is the lane. These are these are the, right now. The, the last search was um, get out of here. Um, the last search was a Harrisburg area because that's where I was. Um, but in the past 30 days, you can get the hottest lanes, you know, basically in the Northeast. And they were coming out of um, they were coming out of Carlisle, and the broker was Fast Express. They had the most loads. So, um, you know, and that's that. Cool thing, uh, basically. You can live chat with that too. Like if you got questions, you can live chat with them and they'll answer you immediately. So, um, and help you out with everything uh, you may need. Um, all the tools are great on here. The mi I mean, like I said, the mileage and routing, they help you figure your fuel tax out. I mean, it's really great. Um, the mobile, obviously the mobile app isn't the most, isn't as, uh, isn't as uh, um, comprehensive, but uh, but basically the lane makers. You got truck. This is how many trucks are posting. This is how many loads are being uh, searched. And this is see a lot of loads, not a lot of trucks. So I mean, um, 
you know, you can make some money there for sure. Um, and you can change that between a zip code or the actual market or whatever you want to do. So, um, up here, you can check out trends. Uh, Dad is just awesome. I don't, should I even go into any other load boards? I mean, <laughs> yeah, the app has gotten better, man. Um, here's freight volumes. Um, these are spot market rates. Um, so, uh, as of July 29th, the average rate per van was $1.79, flatbed was $2.19, and reefer was $2.08. You know. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, industry. Sorry, we're back. My bad. Uh, this is not the only board I use. Um, however, it's the board I book off of the most. I've only uh, booked one or two loads off of the Trucker Path board. Um, you have to be careful with free load boards because free load boards, a lot of times you'll see um, stuff... Uh, uh, the, the issue with free load boards is, um, I don't know where it is. See all this Disney stuff I got on here? You can tell I got a kid, right? Um, I don't think I have it downloaded on here. I have Trucker Path. Let's, um, let's do this. The thing with free load boards is, uh, a lot of times, those are people that get kicked off of that. <laughs> you know, um... So, uh, uh, debt doesn't sponsor anybody. I don't know. Uh, so let's do truckloads. I don't have a download on here, so, um, You can get internet truck stop right there. Um, where's the actual? I don't have it. I don't know why I don't have it on here. So, uh, well, where is it? Fail. My bad. There's regular trucker path, but, um, I don't see the truckloads board on here, but um, maybe if I download actual truck, I don't know why I don't have it downloaded on here, but um, anyways, Heinz chili sauce, put it on everything, so um, yeah, so that you know what it is? You can work off other load boards, um, but DAT just has so much uh, stuff on there, you know, and a lot of times you look on load boards and it's the same. Um, it's the same, so. Uh, but, like I said, you have to be wary of free load boards because, um, a lot of times, those are those are brokers that got kicked off of debt, you know. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> you got to watch out, man. There's some bad seeds out there. Anyways, so what else you got? What else do you want to know? Questions? I'm here to answer them. I'm here to answer your questions. So, I don't know why this is taking so long. <clears throat> yep, trucking with her. You want to build relationships. And I'll, I'll give you the perfect example. A lot of, uh, some of the brokers I've worked with, um, if they like you, they'll uh, they'll give you a good rating. 
um, and they'll take your information. Uh, I work with a, a company called uh, Jacob Logistics a lot. In my past, in the past three weeks, I've been pulling a lot of Jacob's Logistics loads. They're based out of Buffalo. Um, the guy's got my contact information. He's calling me all the time because he knows that at any given time I want to go home. So he's got a lot of freight that goes to Buffalo, uh, Rochester. Sorry, man. He knows I got a lot of freight that goes to Buffalo, um, Syracuse, Rochester, uh, stuff like that. I mean, okay. So, counting the nose hairs. I know, I got them pretty bad, you know. I got them pretty bad. I usually got to get in there and, and, uh, and, uh, route them out. Um, Super Trucker, you could uh, upgrade. I mean, it's expensive. So if you know people that, um, if you know people that, uh, also, also are on the load board, and or maybe haven't signed on yet, and you want you want to do like a group kind of thing. Um, you can do that. Twenty four cases of Virgils. You can send those to your house. All right, whatever. I uh, travel look only has one one review. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, so here's. Truck, load, truck loads we have to do sideways here um, because it does not orient um, it's on the iPad so so here's truck loads yeah you can do that one the, the one I got super trucker is so comprehensive I mean the one you got it just shows loads it really doesn't um it really doesn't give you like the market view or anything so here's the trucker path one yeah go everybody go on there and give uh, travel local reviews uh, Eric doesn't have time to do it he's in the gym it's leg day all right so here is uh, the trucker path load board um, premium broker this has the rate on it this has the rate on it down in New York. Let's look at this one. But this is all it gives you. Okay. What's up, Houston? Um, these guys have a low risk credit score. They pay in 30 days. You can factor them. Uh, you can factor them. So you can call Megan. I've never met a, uh, an ugly Megan, by the way. Never ever. Um, this is uh, Anderson Truck Service. So, and they're offering fifteen hundred dollars. So six twenty-nine. They're offering a little less than two dollars a mile um, to go to uh, Somerset, Kentucky. So, um, two. Oh, well, that's two thirty-eight. It's actually not that much, but um, but that's pretty good to go to Somerset, Kentucky. Uh, but it's a lot of deadhead, you know. Um, but you get more you get more out of them but she wants this load picked up today and that's basically what it is she wants it picked up today so the rate I bet you this started at a dollar like a dollar seventy maybe um, and this is basically truck loads um, that loads probably on the debt board as well there's a lot of these that uh, they're a premium broker trade X is, is, is pretty uh, popular I guess I don't know JA freight system but a lot of these guys uh, I've worked with circle before they're all right um, so uh, this is pretty much it man I mean this there's a map of where all the loads are not much to it um, but like I said it's a mixed bag with these guys um, a lot of these are guys that got kicked off the debt board so I, I mean I don't know for sure but uh, they did somebody wrong on the DAT board. They were reported, and of course they were kicked off. So, um, but you can sort nearest. These are the nearest to my location. 
Lyleville to Houston. So that's where I'm at right now. That's a craft load. Um, no, they don't. I, I mean, but uh, people report them and DAT doesn't want to work with them. You know, if you're reported so many times, DAT will not allow you to post on their board, man. That's just the way it is. Um, so, uh, yeah. That's it, man. <laughs> That's really it. Those are the only two I use right now. I, I thought about using the internet truck stop. Um, check out my... I got Minions. Minion Avengers. It's pretty awesome. So... Well, they don't police you like that. You're right. They don't... But if somebody reports them enough time, Trucking with Authority... And I got this from them. This is from the... When I uh, set up my accounts and stuff. Um, if you're... Uh, they do. They have a third company. But I mean... Uh, third party company but uh, you know they don't want to work with bad brokers and they will use the company to get rid of them um, so uh, you know what kind of Disney game do you guys want to play I got Sophia's Secret Library you want to make some cupcakes let's make cupcakes here we go um, let's make some cupcakes Hi, it's everybody. Me, Mickey Mouse. Today sure is a colorful day, and you get to choose the living room. Oh, boy. Hot Look at this. My, cup, my daughter, she does all this stuff. We got Pirate Mickey. I'm in Lowellville, New York, man. Waiting at craft. Um, the garden. You got I'm waiting at craft, and we're going to make some cupcakes. Oh, I just love my new oh, This isn't what I want. Choose something to paint. See my daughter, she does all this stuff, man. The kitchen? Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. There's the cupcake maker right here. Oh boy! Cupcakes! Check this Wanna out. Help me make some for the bake sale? Mixing Joe's colors together. Mixing Joe's colors is a lot of dog. That looks great. Now, hold the handle to make the back of frosting so it covers the whole thing. Mm. Alright. Let's do green sprinkles. Yeah, all set. Uh, that's what we. That's what I do all day, man. <laughs> With my kid. That's what I do all day. So. Oh, craziness. Yeah, I the. The two hundred and fifty dollar board, man. When you uh, when you get on that, it's so useful. And when you get on that and you partner up with maybe some other people um, to help split the cost, because it's only like fifty bucks to add somebody. So, you know, uh, if two people, one person can pay two fifty, or two people can pay one fifty. Um, you know. Uh, they could do that. They probably have one, to be honest with you, and they just, but they don't uh, share the cost. But, um, uh, but uh, the more, I mean, if you got like two or three people, Jesus, if you got two or three people on the uh, on the board with you, man, you can save money. So, um, yeah, I uh, I have Uber Freight too, but for some reason I can't sign into it. And uh, Jeff did a pretty good video, a uh, live feed on Uber Freight uh, way back. I, I He takes it all down, so I don't know. But, uh, so, yeah. Um, well, he does make more if we make more, man. That's pretty simple. Um, let's go. It's easier. I can't really see what you guys are saying. So, um, Let's go. Let's check out the live feed. This went downhill fast. Why did it go downhill fast, man? I mean, hey, there's only so much you can do with the load board. I mean, you guys got to ask questions. You want to know about it. Um, you want to know about it. Uh, you got to ask questions, man. 
you got to ask questions. That's just that's just the way it is. Um, so, yeah, yeah. You had to call him. I got to call him too, man, because it's uh, it just says um, it's temper it's uh, temporarily uh, suspended. So I can't. Uh, I don't know. I just haven't bothered with it. Um, yeah, it is trucking authority. It kind of is, but you got to uh, listen. There's all these. Um, it's another vehicle to find freight. I mean, you might as well take advantage of it, right? Um, you might as well take advantage of it. Uh, yeah, this video will post to my account. You can watch it. Um, they are. They're just another broker. Uh, I do like that they have clear terms, you know. Um, but in order to... You have to play by their rules in order to get them. Um... I mean, they do have some pretty good ideas. I know there's that Convoy app that's coming out. Um, you can do that. Uh, yeah, there's. it's just another vehicle to find freight, and you might as well take advantage of it, no matter if it's bargain basement or what. Um, it's just another way to find freight. So... Um, yeah, they do have a great uh, truck order not used and detention policy. <clears throat> when I stop this feed, let me know how many people are subscribed. Okay, I will. Hey, listen, I'll. You know what? I'll. Uh, I'm okay with that, man. I'm okay with that. I I'll ride your coattails to the. You know, to the end of time, <laughs> if that means I uh, more people are checking me out. You know. Um, see what else we got I'm in it for the views uh, yeah I know you are uh, yeah one two three load board I've looked at that a little bit um, I, I think that's another one I, I'm gonna subscribe to one two three load board uh, well you sure did you sure did oh he's already gone already gone uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Any questions about finding freight? Um, I don't know if they're part of that or not. What, like, what do you guys want to know? Any, any questions? Finding freight, uh, negotiating. Do you guys want to talk about negotiating? It's pretty simple. Just throw out some stupid ass number. <laughs> really, that's it, man. Negotiating is easy. Um, you call up and, uh, Hey, I want this load uh, reference number, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, how much are you looking to get? And uh, you just say, um, well, how much you got into it? And they'll say, like, uh, some guys won't tell you. They want to hear it from you first. But if you get a guy that's saying, like, um, oh, I got 900 into it, you know, just, just say, um, I don't know, I'm looking for 1400 man. So, or I mean, you can do that, or you can know if you, if you know your cost per mile. Uh, I know my fixed cost per mile is a dollar twenty-one. They're lying as soon as they pick up the phone. Yeah, they they've got a, some of those guys. You can tell when they're talking off a, um, a sheet, right? They they have a sheet that they have lines that they have to follow. You know, when people ask them certain things. But um, when I offer. Uh, make an offer on the load. I know that my fixed cost is a dollar twenty-one. Um, I want to make obviously more than that, so um, I want to make as much as possible. So, if I can make another dollar a mile on top of that, that's basically what I'm going to offer. So, um, so just throw some stupid number out, out there. It's really not that big of a deal. They'll either take it or they won't, or they'll say they'll come back at you with another number. And then you can say, well, that's not going to work for me, man. Nice uh, nice chatting with you. And then they might be like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know. So, Or if they won't budget that number, you could uh, throw other shit at them. I, I had a broker the other day. I got him up to, I was trying to get him to three grand. I got him up to $2,800. 
and I was like, oh man, I don't know. The tolls between there are $170. That guy cut me a comm check on top of the $2,800 for $170, so $179 in tolls. Cut me a comm check, and uh, I, I just um, uh, emailed them all, took pictures of all the receipts and emailed them back to them. So, I mean, yeah, refresh. If you're not seeing it, refresh, man. I'm not in the greatest of cell phone areas, but, uh, and I've had a couple calls come in since. So, um, a lot of times, yeah, they'll do that. That guy cut me a comm check for $179 to cover the tolls between there and here. So, so I got $2,800 plus toll money. Um, or, you know, fuel sur you can argue with fuel surcharge. You can do all kinds. There's all kinds of stuff to get more money out of them, you know. Because they structure loads that way. Um, they structure loads based on cost of shipping, cost of fuel, and uh, access accessorial costs like detention, tolls, things like that. So um, you've got a lot of negotiating power there. You just have to know. Uh, you just have to know what you're working with, you know. And some guys, uh, you know, they'll call you back the next day. I had another one where uh, the guy was offering 900. Um, it was a load that picked up the next day, and I said I was looking for um, I was looking for 1200. And uh, he said he couldn't do it. He said he couldn't do it. And I was like, oh, sorry to hear, man. And, uh, you know, he's, he, he would only give me like another 50 bucks. So, um, so the next day I woke up and that load was still there on the DAT board. And I called that guy back, uh, or no, that guy called me actually. And he said, Hey, uh, that load is still on the board, man. Uh, you, you were asking 1200 and I said, yeah, yesterday I was asking 1200 today. It's 1500. So, um, you know, and of course they get all crazy. Oh man, that's all I got into it. All I got into it. You know, that's what they say. They love that line. That's all I got into it. And, um, but at the end of it all, we settled on 1350 and I hauled the load and it was an easy load. So, um, negotiating, it's no big deal, man. If you've bought a car before and you've gotten a good deal on a car, you can do this too. Um, so, and you can use it to your advantage. You can get home, uh, easy. I've been home a lot, man, and um, they are like car salesmen, Ex absolutely. Um, but I've been home a lot, and I've made great money this week. I've just gone between New York and Pennsylvania, and uh, I've done very well. I've used um, not my highest grossing week, but I bought very little fuel uh, this week. So that's the name of the game, man. The less fuel you can buy, the better. Um, you know, and, uh, I, uh, and, you know, wherever, you know, be smart about where you buy fuel too. I mean, you can buy fuel in Pennsylvania because the fuel tax is so high and the cost, the actual cost of the fuel is so low, but I tend not to because man, I don't, I don't want to wait for those savings. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, it's just crazy. The cost of fuel in Pennsylvania, man, uh, I don't, man, I don't want to pay that price now and then uh, get it back, you know, later on. I just don't want to do that. And um, I look at it as, uh, you know, what what's, is the difference is really pennies. So, I mean, it's not that much. So, I tend to stay away from, um, uh, Jersey is, is the cheapest fuel tax in the Northeast, not the cheapest price. Pennsylvania is the cheapest actual cost, highest fuel tax, actual cost. So if you can afford to buy fuel in Pennsylvania off the top, off the bat, then do it because when you do your IFTA, that's where you're going to, uh, you're going to save, you know? Um, however, yeah, um, tolls in the Northeast is killer too. Um, when you negotiate your rates, you got to factor in your toll costs. Um, it can save you thousands, but it, for me, it doesn't, trucking with authority. I'm a one-truck operation. It does not save me thousands. It does not save me hundreds. It saves me a few dollars, to be honest with you. 
Um, if I had a mega fleet or a large fleet, then yeah, I would uh, encourage people to buy my drivers to buy fuel in the Northeast. However, it, this the amount of savings. Uh, no, I don't save thousands, man. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't buy enough fuel to save thousands. So um, there is an app that will tell you your tolls. You have to subscribe to it. Um, will can uh, uh, Will can tell you what the app is. Um, yeah, and that's the other thing. The Pennsylvania Turnpike. Stay away from that thing, man. Um, stay away from that thing. It's expensive. I don't know what the hell their problem is, man. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, Trucking with Authority, that's great. You did a video and everything. Uh, you know, everybody go check it out. But I don't buy enough fuel for it to save me thousands or even hundreds. I don't. Um, it's just the way it is. So um, maybe a couple hundred bucks I save. That's about it. Um, yeah, I don't go into New York because I'm not paying, uh, I'm not paying for the bridges, you know. There's some good paying freight coming out of New York City, if you don't mind going in there. But I don't want to go over the bridges, I just don't. Um, I just don't. Um, I have, I have an elite pass, I actually, it just came in the mail, I have to go get it. Um, yeah, it's $100 for the George Washington. It's uh, $46 for all the other bridges. Um, you know, uh, they're doing, I will say one thing, they're finally doing some cashless tolling in New York, um, which is great because they started, they did it in Massachusetts. Massachusetts is all get cashless tolling, especially into Boston. And it, what's up, Shadow Wolf? Um, Massachusetts is all cashless tolling, especially into Boston, and it is smooth sailing. The rush hour is just basically cut in half in Boston, and um, toll costs in Massachusetts are actually uh, fairly cheap, cheaper than Ohio and Indiana. Um, so probably the cheapest, I, I would say. Out of all the tolls in the Northeast, I would say Massachusetts is the cheapest turnpike to run. Um, so... Um, so when yeah, when you negotiate your, your rate in the Northeast, account for the tolls. Have that all figured out. You know, use um, there's an app. Will can tell you. Ohio is like 44 bucks to run it from uh, Cleveland to uh, to the end. Uh, I take Route Two um, because you actually it takes the same amount of time to take Route Two. It's actually a nicer drive. It's scenic. You got Lake Erie by you. Um, and you could take Route 2 to 280 and uh, drop down into per Perrysburg. And um, and there's all the truck stops, or you can go up to Michigan. Yep, it's 44 bucks, I think, to the Indy Line. Um, $38 with Easy Pass. So, but that's from Cleveland. I don't know what it is from. Um, Pennsylvania um, I don't I don't know what from Pennsylvania to Ohio I don't know what it is but from Cleveland to the end is $44 from what I can remember Indiana is 38 something uh, so um, but from Indiana you can run down you can run 6 across you can run 20 you can run 20 across Indiana, and it's uh, 30 minutes longer. Um, 476, Don, in Pennsylvania is not bad. It's actually, um, it's actually cheap, a lot, pretty cheap compared to the rest of the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Um, so let's go look. Let's look at it, man. Let's look at some freaking. You got to remember that Pennsylvania. Uh, they also weigh you when you. Um, enter the toll booth so which is a crock they don't charge you by the axle they charge you by you know they charge you by the axle and by how much you weigh um it's uh yeah there's truck router there's another one i forget the name of the one i use um uh but let's check out some toll uh Let's check out. Let's let's see how bad Pennsylvania 
It really is. Um, so, yeah, thanks, Super Trucker. So, uh, let's see, toll calculator. That's, uh, I don't have a good stand for my phone, man, and I'm sorry, guys. So, let's go from Ohio to, um, let's go all the way to the end, man. <laughs> let's go all the way to, let's go all the way to the end. And let's say we're 80,000 pounds, and we have five axles. Watch this shit. Where is it? A clip. Two hundred. Look at that. Two hundred sixty-seven dollars. <laughs> I mean, are you out of your mind? Two hundred and sixty-seven miles. Three hundred fifty-six miles. So uh, you do save seventy-five bucks by using Easy Pass. But two hundred and sixty-seven uh, miles and. I don't know, a lot of that PA Turnpike is just absolute shit. You know? I mean, a lot of times you might be getting off at uh, Valley Forge um, because uh, that's where the Northeast Extension is. You're dropping down into... And, and that's uh, $238. I mean, it's $170 with Easy Pass. It's just ridiculous. Um... Another popular one, 70 runs into Bedford there, or uh, in, um, not Bedford, uh, Breezewood, right? Let's go take a look. A lot of people go up 70 into Breezewood and then go up into Ohio that way, so let's take a look at that. This is how ridiculous. $127, $91 with Easy Pass. Are you, are you kidding me? Uh, the empty rate? Class five, calculate. That's eighty-one dollars, fifty-eight if you're uh, got Easy Pass. That's not as bad, but I mean, it's just nuts. Um, it's just nuts what they charge for tolls, and then they you know, they put up signs that say, "Oh, your toll dollars are at work." By the way, Heinz chili sauce. If they want to sponsor me. Um, uh, you do not have trucking with authority. You do not have to pay a uh, hut on the thruway um, if you are not uh, delivering anywhere in New York. Um, if you are just uh, going through New York with um, a load, like say to Massachusetts, you do not need a hut permit on the thruway. And they recently just changed it so that you don't need it on 81 if you're going to Canada. 81 or uh, in 87 as well. They just literally just recently changed it. Um, so as long as um, you are not delivering in New York, you can interstate across the throughway 81 and 87. So um, if you are a New York resident, uh, then you need the hot permit because obviously you're going to drive your truck off the interstate. Um, I th I don't think they charge you for the hot permit. Remember, there's that big court case. Um, yep, yeah, all all throughway miles are exempt from hot taxes. That's that's right. Um, and now they just changed it to 81 and 87. So long as your your bills show you uh, are interstate. Um, yeah, it's like it's it's they charge you to ship the sticker. That's pretty much, and that's only if you live, um, if you're not a New York resident. I think for me, it's like seventeen bucks or whatever. I I don't know. I um, I have it in my travel local permit book. So um, so yeah, they just recently changed. Um, it does eat you up in tolls, man. Uh, you do have to re you have to report the throughway miles that's pretty easy though man you just um, you just report them <laughs> I mean it's it's pretty easy it, it asks you uh, when you file your uh, all that stuff your hub permit
I keep track of all that. Um, but yeah, they, they recently just changed it. Um, so for Canadian carriers, if they go to, um, I, big Billy, I have an elite pass in the mail. Um, and, uh, it should be there at the house already. Um, but, uh, what I did is, uh, I went on to, um, I went on to, I, I called up, they don't advertise Elite Pass on the PrePass website, so I, you have to call them up and ask for it, and uh, so I signed up for their Elite Pass, and I also applied for a line of credit, um, so I have like, um, uh, Travel Local does track and report my IFTA, I also track it myself, just as the checks and balances. Um, so I got an elite pass. I got a line of credit, uh, like a $1,500 line of credit. And uh, because tolls are so expensive, you can use the line of credit to balance the costs. You know, I mean, obviously the goal is to pay off your line of credit as quick as possible. But it's nice to have so that you can balance uh, the cost of your tolls across the year, you know. So... Um, that's helpful so if you can qualify for that uh, for a line of credit or if you have a credit card aside from that you can just attach it to that um, so um, yeah don't be scared of tolls man but know, know your costs know your costs so that when you make um, Traveloka does not supply any passes it's all on you um, I don't know if you can uh, I don't know if you can call Eddie up and say hey can I get a pass you know i don't know I, I don't know but um it's all on you man uh travel local it's all on you so your loads that you haul you negotiate everything you do it's all on you you are 100 percent independent you everything is 100 percent uh transparent and you're basically just using their numbers everything else is on you you're just using their numbers for the most part um, and they keep track of your after. That's about it. And they give you a fuel card, um, which is only a nine cent discount at Love's. Um, I'm going to. Uh, um, the Elite Pass is every uh, every tollway. It doesn't matter. Every tollway uh, out there. So if you're in Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma. Every tollway, uh, you're in Florida, uh, easy, or you're in, um, um, I am going to look into the Nastic Card MXPX, um, because their fuel discounts are way bigger. Um, yeah, everything, the Elite Pass is your, your way station bypass, and your, um, every, pretty much every toll road in the country, and I even think, I think you have to call and ask them, I even think you can get, um, uh, some of the tolls in like Toronto and uh, Montreal if you go that way um, I even think you can get those on there but you have to call them and ask them I'm not so sure um, so yeah that's every toll road am I going to use every toll road no but it didn't cost me any extra to get it so alright man I'm, gonna, I'm fixing to get off here too um I gotta call these guys. I've been waiting here for a long time. Um, the fuel card, Travel Local's fuel card will work anywhere that takes that fuel card. So, um, you know, uh, if a truck stop takes, uh, um, it's Loves, Shadow Wolf. It's Loves. You can use them anywhere, but it's Loves. Nine cent discount at Loves. Uh, cash price at the pump. Um, Yep, bank that. That's what I do, man. This is a the broker. This broker is XPO, so they pay me detention immediately. Um, I used Coyote yesterday. They pay me detention immediately. Um, I used. I hauled this load with Pinnacle before. I have not been paid detention by Pinnacle yet. So, um, Nastic has some awesome discounts um, every week, and uh, it's through Fleet One. And uh, I'm interested in talking to them for sure. I actually looked into it a long time ago. Um, 
some brokers will pay you your detention through a comm check. I've not run into that. Um, I've not run into that yet. Uh, but uh, I know uh, I've gotten some accessorial pay um, through ComCheck. So some brokers will pay your lumpers directly, So, too. So that's another thing you need to know. Um, if you deliver to a place that has lumper service, you need to check with the broker. Um, you need to check with the broker because a lot of, A, the broker has to approve any... Um, lumper costs and a lot of times it's them who will cut you the either the com check or the t check or whatever uh whatever they got uh they'll do it directly so like uh, the coyote load i had yesterday um it depends you gotta re i have an accessorial policy shadow wolf it says that i get i submit it with every load i book and they agree to it it's 75 dollars an hour after two hours um, so any, any carrier that, any broker that does business with me through Traveloco, they get my accessorial policy and that's what I get. So, and it's very easy to create. Um, so, um, yeah, my, um, if I book it myself, I tell them I have an accessorial policy and, uh, somebody blocked that guy for me. Um, if I book it myself, I tell them I, I want to send you my accessorial policy and then they sign off on it. Um, but, uh, my, uh, Ted, the guy who does my dispatching, he builds the loads for me. Um, he knows that whenever he books anything for me, he sends the accessorial policy along. He has a copy of it and, uh, they agree to it. So, um works great I haven't had any issues with it I've had uh, some brokers come back and say well we, we can only pay you $50 an hour detention that's our policy and I'll say yeah whatever you know um, higher weight than build um, I don't you don't run into that much because every uh, load you broker it says it's like maxed out you know um, so I have yet to run into a uh, higher weight than build So, yeah, I haven't had that issue yet. So, um, yeah. I don't know, guys. Yeah, good topic. And that will be another video, man, because I'm fixing to get off of here. I talk my ear off too much. So, but, um, any other questions before I go? What else you guys got? Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, you do. You run into it once in a while. I have not had uh, any issues. Um, I've had stuff where they've built 44,000 pounds and then you get there and it's like four pallets. <laughs> so that's always nice. Um, that happens a lot with dry loads. So, um, hell yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, that was awesome. I had a great video earlier today where I, uh, I had to change a light on my trailer. I had to rewire it. I'm going to Gay's, Big Billy. I'm going to Gay's. I love it. I love the Gay's. No, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'm going to Gats. I'll be there. Um, so, yeah, I had a video earlier. Um, you can have travel local dispatch you, but you might, sometimes you might find yourself waiting. So, you got to be proactive because they're busy guys. So, you got to be proactive and, and look yourself, too. Um, so yeah, I did a video earlier where I fixed a light on my trailer and I was going to do like a, you know, fix it yourself kind of video. And, um, half the video was like just blank. I don't know what the hell happened. And I was really mad because it was a good video. So, but, uh, oh well. So yeah, I'll be at Gats. Come hang out with me. I'll party. Um, I'm going to be sitting there in, in the parking lot with buck wild trucking so while uh, Ike and little dog stay in swanky hotels because that's what they do I'll be with my people so but uh, anyways appreciate you guys uh, watching uh, Billy you live like 
a half hour from me, man. So, you know, you can just hang out whenever. But, um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys watching, man. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I'll be putting up some more video pretty soon. I've been kind of, uh, behind the times. So, um, feel free to leave comments below. If you have any other questions, I'll go through and read them and stuff. So, um, yeah. Yeah, Shadow Wolf. Shadow Wolf is a man of the people. All right? He is a man of the people. And those people are truck drivers. And that's just that they're, they're all there is to it. So, um, I'd rather stay in the parking lot, you know. So, and make fun of people in flip flops. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, more uh, more uh, content to come. Have a good night.